mask the fact that I didn't do as good a job priming these guys as I would in the past. I've been having some airbrush issues. It's like super dry out here. For these guys, I don't know if I'm going to bother doing this. I'll probably do it for her. She's got a lot of just kind of like bare... bare minimum clothing. Everyone else kind of had... you know, like your typical jeans and... Alright, are these guys dry? Pretty darn close. Let them dry for a little bit longer there. Alright, I guess I can just start working in on these guys. Just using some German field gray. jacket for this guy. Um, what can I do? Kill two birds with one stone here while I've got this paint out. He's got kind of like boots on. Yeah, I guess I guess I might have put too much gray on. Gray on my palette. Let's do some flat earth. Flat earth. Really whole model color. Good color. So I'm not doing doing this like perfectly the first time through. It's just mostly to get color on here and then when I do a wash I'll kind of redefine where the edges of everything need to be and then work from the inside of the model out. Pants and shirts are a good place to start. Basically get all your inner details and then everything else typically sits on top of all that. You know, pouches, belts, vests, stuff like that. Um, basically it allows you to work from the inside of the miniature out. but I think with the way we paint him it'll, it'll work out fine. Where's 
the boot. There it is. Oh, I forgot to bring my uh, my blue-black color home. Uh, oh well. I think we can uh, we can do a custom mix with this GW blue and a little bit of black. Do some blue jeans. Here. It's a little too watery. A little bit better base coat. Oh man, these guys have a ton of detail on them. Just bits and bobs of just random stuff. Um, Alright, these guys are looking like that. Sure, what happened there? Just do some touch ups here before I do my wash, make sure I'm working off of an even, even base coat. Nothing's been shipped, nothing's been accidentally scraped away or anything like that. I think we're good. that dry for a bit. Alright, what else we got? I guess I can show off some new miniatures that I got recently. The, uh, this is not a test Kickstarter came in. So this is the, uh, a quick reference sheet for, this is not a test, it's hard to get it in and not glared. But uh, that's pretty cool, and I got a bunch of uh, Peacekeeper miniatures, so like, you know, Officers of the Law. So I've got them, uh, got them glued up here. This is the Road Marshal. Um, but got a Line Breaker with like a Riot Shield and Riot Armor. A big old Tack Visor. Uh, we got the Outrider. She's got a Sniper Rifle and like this sweet poncho. Be fun to paint up. And then I did have another model that I had gotten assembled, but um, noticed that the light machine gun on her was bent. I was like, oh, gotta get the glue off, so I think she's in the freezer right now. That's an easy way to break open super glue. Um, this is Brigade Games, uh, not Clint Eastwood. So he'll be pretty fun to paint up as like a deputized citizen. Um, got a rogue psyker from... Uh, oh, what is it? Deadlands Reloaded? Hell on Earth Reloaded? That was a Kickstarter they did like three or four years ago. Um, I only recently found the models. They're kind of like a, a weird Wild West style. Um, you know, possible, possibly good for post apoc but you know, she's got like this big duster on and she's got a revolver. Um, this girl's got like a big old wrench, so she'll be good, good for like a, like a mechanic or someone who's got a nice backpack paint up like a like a red rocket jumpsuit or something like that. Um, picked up a, uh, a Necromunda Ratskin uh, model, which is pretty cool. So he's got like a blunderbuss and like a, a dead rat on his back there, which is pretty sweet. Well, let's see what else we got I'm kicking around here. Get all these things out of the way. Um, we got our couple different wasteland doctors. So we got a sawbones on the left and then like a nurse on the right. Um, this guy is Brigade, and she is, uh, I think, World's End publishing from the TNT Kickstarter. So, pretty cool. We've got, like, you know, all the medical equipment and everything on their backs. He's got, like, a big, you know, cutting saw. Just pretty sweet. Um, he got the dog, the little, like, Scottish York Terrier or something like that, with, like, all the, uh, the medical packs and everything on him. A couple water bottles is pretty cool. Um, I got a medical bot. This guy's pretty sweet. Like a C3PO with like a medical scanner or something. So that'll be fun to paint up. Um, what else we got? What's some other cool stuff? Um, oh, Johnny Atomic, the radio guy. He's a pretty cool model. He's got like a mic boom. He's like the voice of the wasteland, I guess. So it'll be fun to get him painted. Pretty, pretty well cast models, too. Um, not a whole lot of uh, a flash, you know, mold lines are minimal pretty easy to clean up. Um, what else we got kicking around here? Ooh, the, uh, I actually even haven't opened these. These are the, um, 
these are the rats. They're like mutant rats, which would be perfect for, you know, you know, paint these guys up pretty much same over here as this guy here. Um, so this one looks like it's got a bunch of other little rats hanging out with him, which is pretty cool. This one's got two tails, which is kind of nice. Uh, this one's got like, what, two, four, six legs, which is pretty cool. Um, this one's got two heads and like a bunch of pustules sticking off of them. Um, and this one is just scrunty. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And then I've actually got some some bigger ones from uh, what do you call it, Reaper Bones. So these are much bigger. And that white's really harsh on the uh, under the camera and the lights here. But yeah, you know, if you want to do like a big big wear rat or something like that, it would work. They're pretty cool. All right, enough chatting, showing off. The hardback rule book was actually pretty cool too. That came in before it was only available as a PDF. So those rules are now in hardback coffee. So maybe eventually they'll get them distributed at some point, which would be pretty sweet. All right, where did my blue wash go? All right, this is an oldie. <laughs> Sermon Blue. Uh, probably smells really bad. All right, we're gonna drop some on the palette here. I definitely think we're gonna need some thinner on this because it is super, super thick. All right, get some thinner medium here. All right, just mix some thinner medium there. Get this nice and mixed up. Clean up my brush real quick so that that wash doesn't sit sit there for too long. All right, I'm gonna move these guys out of the way because they're they're finished models, and the last thing I want to do is get paint on them. Yeah, this wash isn't doing a whole lot. But I guess we can always do a second coat the areas that we want darker. I'm not trying to do like a super dark coat here, I just want to kind of tie everything together here. I'll probably just do some very minimal highlights um, on these jumpsuits because I kind of wanted to look a little more worn and torn than I did the last time I painted these. Which was fun, it was like two hours wasted that I just had to go and strip these guys and clean up the resin because the resin didn't get fully cleaned the first time I washed them. So the primer wasn't sticking and there were pieces and parts that were chipping and was actually peeling off on one of them. Not to mention the fact that I broke two of the arms off one of the models and was like, oh crap. That wasn't good. fun to do some like uh some weathered you know dust and stuff on like their elbows and their knees and bottom parts of their pants It'll give you a nice contrast on the blue I'm gonna clean up my brush here because I've got blue kicking around on the, the edge here. Yep, there it comes out. 